welcome back ladies and gentlemen as always I'm your host LL and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to claim and also stake your songbird tokens and those who don't know songbird is a canary testnet network for the flare network so it basically works in the same way as Kusama and Polkadot does in a way where the implementations are first put on the testnet and tried out there and then later on implemented on the actual mainnet. So obviously people who hold their XRP back in December are eligible to get the Flare Network airdrop and in case you're eligible for that you are also eligible for Songbird. So the first thing you will be obviously needing is a seed phrase or a private key for your Flare airdrop. I hold my XRP or did hold my XRP in my Exodus. So I'm able to retrieve my private key from here and we're going to be needing that in a second. So first up, we're going to be setting up the wallet and then we're going to be doing the actual staking. So you will be needing MetaMask and this is obviously common for many people or obviously there are people who have only used XRP. So this might be a new experience. MetaMask is available on Chrome, iOS and Android. It is also available on Opera, Edge and Firefox. So pretty much every browser out there, you install it and it will come out as an icon here on the top. Then, and here is obviously the Chrome Web Store link. And the first thing you will be needing is to uh, put a recovery phase. So in some cases, some people might have gotten a seed phrase for the Flare network. And if it's 12 words, you're going to be using this here. It's not a must. You can create a new wallet. And that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, this case, since we're going to be importing private key. And I'm just going to be putting a random password here, which I will be remembering. You can uh, basically forget this as long as you have the seed phrase, no problemo. Now we're creating the actual wallet here and next. And now we're going to be seeing our actual uh, seed phrase here. And I'm going to be copying that um, here, posting it into a word pad and next. And then we're going to be putting those words on the same um, order as they were given out. Obviously, I always recommend putting everything in store um, in a like a physical thing or a ledger or anything basically which allows you to, um, you know, keep it safe in case the computer dies or your things get stolen. You have some place where you can basically, um, you know, do things. So now we have our account, okay? And this is something we don't need. Um, the next step is to go into chainlist.org and we're going to be adding the extra network here. So we're going to be typing songbird and we're going to be connecting our MetaMask here. And hopefully it will be connecting. There we go. And clicking next doesn't really matter. And back into searching songbird, add to MetaMask. And this will add basically out those information. So you can just physically uh, add this from this screen, pause, pause it right now and add those things in. Um, then approving switch network. And now basically when we are now in the MetaMask here on this screen or on the big screen, we can see that we are on the Songbird Canary Network and clicking the drop bar, we can change it to Ethereum. And obviously this way you can add polygons and Binance Smart Chains and etc. Now, since I have the Songbird on another network, or I mean another account, I'm going to be importing that private key from here. So I will be going off screen. I will be not showing this password for you. I don't want to get my stuff stolen. And in Exodus, it will ask you a password basically. And it will show you a private key. We are posting that private key here and we are imported and voila. Now our account two, which is this address, has the songbird which were distributed from the actual airdrop. And now we can finally get into the actual uh, staking phase of this video. So it needs to be said that uh, there's two forms of songbird right now. There's wrapped songbird, which is WSGB, and then there is SGB. And there is gonna be an airdrop of X5 
which is going to be happening on November 5th. So you want to accumulate SGB right now. You're going to be getting one XG XEFI for every 235 SGB. And so this is something that might be a good reason to start like uh, accumulating. Now, once we have the SGB, we are going to be going back to uh, our wallet here. So sorry, uh, to the app, to the staking app of the Flare Network. So we're going to be doing collect, Connect Wallet. Uh, right now, Descent, Bifrost, and MetaMask and Ledger are the options. We're going to be choosing MetaMask here. Um, if it doesn't roll out on the first try, then just refresh and connect again. This is obviously because we just installed the MetaMask. It didn't pop out on the website. And we're choosing, obviously, the second account which we imported to the MetaMask since that's where the SGP is connecting now and here we can see our balances now I already uh, earlier moved uh, and tried it out for this video and now I'm gonna be doing it again I don't have any reason to hold SGB as of right now so I'm gonna be just wrapping it up because I will be getting staking rewards so I will be moving 170 gonna be keeping a little left for uh, future transactions you want to do that as well and I'm going to be clicking wrap and here's the amount we're wrapping and the amount we will be receiving. And there will be a network fee attached to that. We're going to be clicking yes. And here we can see which round 0 0.69 uh, confirming. And this will be now basically sticking um, the STB out. And then after that, we are basically able to delegate that sum so it works in a kind of like a delegated proof of stake type of a system similar to many other blockchains out there now we're going into the delegate tab and i've already done one delegation and i'm going to be delegating now um 200 of vsgb and we're going to be clicking begin first um Okay, well, this is a, a problematic, problematic. Um, so let me see if I can undelegate first and then delegate again. So we'll be confirming here and we need to delegate everything on one go, which means that you're not able to delegate to multiple different um, entities. So once again, 200 um, is the sum, clicking begin. And now we're going to be choosing the actual provider who we're going to be putting into it. Uh, there's obviously different fees on all of these. And obviously everybody has different uh, things which they're going to be putting into. I'm going to be going with DeFi Oracles. I like their logo. No other reason. And once again, I'm going to be putting 100%. I can choose that as a 95 or something. But I'm going to be putting that 100%. Then I will be confirming. Um, I might be actually wrong about what I said earlier. I think if you put this into 90%, then you can uh, put the next one at 10%. But um, right now, I don't think there's any reason to put multiple delegates. And now we're going to be delegating 100% and I'm going to be clicking that box, delegate. And a transaction will come out. We confirm it once again. So there is a couple of steps here. So uh, prepare some for gas fees. And after this, after this transaction has gone through, the delegation has been completed. And we can, after that, go into the rewards tab. And there we can see basically the rewards. And the they are obviously like epochs. So basically the rewards are not coming out on, uh, you know, current. Like it doesn't start like immediately. So after every epoch, you're getting rewards. I'm going to leave a couple of links down below and see the breakdowns of those delegations. I'm also going to be copying my account name and you can go to actually Flare Metrics and you can see uh, some statistics here if you want to. So um, I think somewhere here you can view uh, check rewards here. So I can go to an address and also check here whatever a certain wallet has rewards or not. So just something extra there. But that's pretty much my tutorial, how everything is basically done. Obviously, you can currently buy um, Songbird from the BitTrue Exchange. I'm going to leave my link down below. GoPack seems pretty sketchy. Never really heard about this exchange before. 
Uh, but it's Korean based, so I guess it's not too bad. But its volume is definitely a lot lower than it is on BitTrue. So basically, if you want to buy some Songbird before the snapshot happens, I would do it now because after that, we're going to be getting a lot more rewards for a lot of people. So, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys on the next video in case you want to send me some tips on Songbird or XRP. These are my addresses and stay tuned for other Songbird, Flare and XRP based videos in the future once those dApps start to basically surfacing on the network. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you next time.